Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and how the news in details. Senate approves Buhari's request to raise fresh 850 billion Naira loan. President Muhammad Buhari has asked the Senate to approve his request to secure a fresh loan of 850 billion Naira to fund some projects in the 2020 budget. He made the request in a letter read by the Senate President Ahmad Lawan. On Tuesday, on the floor of the upper chamber of the National Assembly in Abuja. According to the letter, President Buhari seeks to raise the loan from the domestic capital market to ensure adequate funds to finance projects in the budget. After the, after the letter was read, the lawmakers gave accelerated approval to the president's request to raise the loan. They also asked the Senate Committee on Finance and Appropriation to liaise with the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, to get more details on the loan request. President Buhari's request was granted following the senator's resumption from a recess which lasted about five weeks. The lawmakers had gone on break since March as part of measures to curb the spread of coronavirus in the country. At the resumed plenary, the Senate President welcomed his colleagues and gave the reason for the resumption of plenary amid the rising cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria. He explained that the decision was to help sustain solutions to the health crisis and ensure the crisis does not create more problems for the government and its people. Senator Lawan stated that the pandemic has affected the 2020 budget and the National Assembly has a responsibility to work with the executive to address the problem. Meanwhile, the Senate's leader, Senator Abdullah Yahaya, has moved a motion to suspend Order 11 to enable senators to speak from seats not belonging to them. He explained that this was to enable the lawmakers to comply with social distancing, which was part of the measures to check the spread of COVID-19. Man, this money is too much. 850 billion Naira for what? After they've collected a, a lot of no loans before, in which they have not returned the loan. And now President Muhammad Buhari is collecting 850 billion Naira. It is not a small money. And this is to tell you that the country is simply sold to China. While other African countries are rejecting loans, eh? Other, other countries are rejecting loans. Our own country is collecting loan upon loan. How would they be able to refund this loan? How would they be able to return it back? This is too much. This is definitely too much. A huge amount of loan like this. Look at the oil price in Nigeria. It's increasing every day. And they did not do anything about it. And here we are. They are collecting loans. This is to tell you that this government, they are corrupt set of governments. They are corrupt ones. And now simply the reason why he has all the sensitive positions manned by his loyalists, who we expressly approve such letter. So now Senate just coming back first coming back and first thing first is to approve letter to go borrow money. I think the Senate are not supposed to approve the letter. The money is too much. And obviously, obviously, this man will still go. He will be going to China any soon to bring the money. To fund some project in the 2020 budget. And now look at what they are saying. They are saying that uh, because of this virus, it actually affected their project in this 2020. What does these people take Nigerians for? Because this is to tell us that they never think of common Nigerians at all. They never 
never think of common Nigerian. Okay. Look at her speed. Look at the speed of approval. At least, even if he asks for uh, money, is this, are they supposed to approve him immediately? Look at the speed. When APC came to power, a bag of rice was 8,000 8, naira. But today, Nko, today, even with local production, a bag of rice is 23,000 naira. Price of oil skyrocket from 87,000 to 145,000. Lately, pressures to 125,000. Even when the oil price is less than 20 20, 20, $20 per barrel. Look at what these people are doing. This is not good at all. And this is to tell us that they don't have any other agenda to discuss in, in Senate other than loan approval. The only thing they do is to approve loan. And that is what they are doing right now. You know, and the, it's just so shameful that uh, when it comes to borrowing money from China, Buhari is very smart about it. When it comes to traveling too, Buhari is very smart about it. But when it comes to the affairs of this nation, it's always so slow to take action. It's so slow. It shows that this is the we have an incompetent leader. We have incompetent leader. Because the only thing they do is to borrow money. Borrow, borrow, borrow money. That is the only thing they do. It's only God that will save us in this country. And it is only God that will see us through in Nigeria. Because my question is this. How long are we going to pay this loan? Even if another party takes oh, take over today, we will still li be living in paying loan because they keep borrowing and borrowing and poor borrowing. We are just praying that APC government will not sell us oh, and our unborn generation into slavery through this thing that is going on, through this uncontrolled and unnecessary loan. That this present tenor is collecting. This is definitely too much. And Nigerians are saying that uh, so Senate hurriedly resumed plenary in order to approve Buhari's request to raise fresh 850 billion naira loan with what is happening, COVID-19 ravage across the world. Our leaders still have the uh, the, the, the guts. To, 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 to embezzle money. Hmm? And I said that why Senate no go accept her? When Senator's house are worth billions, fleet of cars worth billions, own several houses worth billions, inclusive. Senators be that too. Not governor and not president. Let us all be praying for our future and the future of our children because those people are not investing for themselves. I mean, these people are harvesting for themselves and not does not care and does not care for Nigerian people. May God have mercy on all of us in the country. You know, and they are saying that, oh Lord of mercy, where is your face? Nigeria with bad leadership. Where rich is getting rich and poor is getting poor. And graduate upon graduate National Assembly have never passed bill for employment for youth. But when it comes to borrowing money, 850 billion naira, Lord, help us. That is the only thing we can say for now. It is only this God that can help us from this set of people. The affairs of Nigerians does not even matter to them anymore. The only thing they do is to embezzle money. The only thing they know is to embezzle money. And that is no good at all. May God help us from this country, Nigeria. Because it shows that this APC government are the most corrupt in Africa. They are the most corrupt tenor. 
and it is only God that can help us from them. You know, and Nigerians are saying that Nigeria is naturally rich, but no plan on ground. What they came for is just to steal, to kill and destroy. No plan to make anything work, not even the simplest agriculture. Anyone controlled by Nigeria economy is a doom already. Exactly. That is that is what is going on. It's totally doomed already. Because why do we need this much loan again? All the past loan, they have not even been able to return it. And here we are, going for 850 billion naira. Not a joke. So guys, what is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. Kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We'll say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to watch our latest news. God bless you once again and always stay safe.